Let's go back and let's start placing the rocks around the island. There's so many ways of doing so in Houdini. But the cool thing is that our approach here is going to be something really cool. We're going to use a variety of nodes to accomplish that. And, and for sure that will give you more ideas on how you can use each of these nodes in Houdini. So to start, we have like these two, almost three million polygons on this. So let's duplicate and, and change the density of the second one to something much smaller like 0.1. We just want to have the general shape of the island and that's enough for us. So here we have the island and that's awesome. Uh, what we need to bring now is a grid. And this grid is something, let me bring it here. And let's increase it this to 1,500, 1,500. Uh, yeah, and you see, we need just to cover the whole area because what we want is the intersection of this line of the water plane with the, the land itself. And the grid is going to provide us that. So we can bring the grid down a bit, like one meter down, just so we have the intersection happening a bit under the water maybe not that much like 0.5 i think it's it's enough so let's place a boolean the boolean you would normally mix two geometries or subtract or or add one to another but in this case we're going to use in a different way instead of the operation instead of subtract we're going to use sim and now we have this line let me hide everything else so we have this line that is the intersection of that grid with the island and from that on what we need to do is a resample because we have we have so many points like uh, in here if i place the points you see we have a lot of points and we can resample it but not to generate more points but to generate less like six every six meters we have a different point so that's good for now maybe yeah that's good so let's place an add node that node do a lot of things in our case we want to delete the geometry and keep only the points okay so now we have all these points around the island that's the intersection of our shoreline for example that's basically what we have here a representation of the shoreline so now we have the add and let's put the point up i want to it's too uniform this so the point pop is a visual way of of writing vax codes so for some things i think uh, vax is easier for other things i prefer to use point pop that's a personal a personal choice but it's a very simple um thing that we're going to do we're going to add some noise to this point so when i place the point to the position of the point to the position so we didn't affect anything it's just it's still everything has a a, a p that's uh, z x and y in the world position so we have like this p and now we're just bringing this p to the same same numbers so same values so now let's make like um, a noise and is noise and can be 1d no problem let the position to the position and now let's do a float to vector the float to vector is good because i don't want to to use the noise to bring these points up and down i just want them to to be uh, in the z and the x axis to be changed this is the z, x y and z so this and let's add this add so we're going to add this noise. Oh. We're going to add the noise to this. So and that's the result. So now we come to the amplitude and let's make it 15. So we see what we got. And let's increase this even more. So now we're breaking down the whole thing. Uh, it's not as we had before you know we have like all these points jagged line around around the, the island so okay that's good but we have too many points so 
if we place rocks on here we would have like rocks all over in a very still like very uniform way even if we have this point but we have rocks all over so what we want to do is to delete and there's a few ways of deleting points uh, we're going to do this in two different ways the first one is to enable delete by range so now let's see how many points we have we have almost 600 points so let me come in here let me put 600 here and I want to kill 5 out of 6 points so we're going to kill a lot of points so now let me see I think we are not visualizing because there is a bug let me erase this and come back to this hmm. ah okay so my mistake we're looking to primitives we want points so now we got so maybe five out of seven yeah i think it's good maybe five out of six yeah i think this is better so now i want to do another thing there is a new node called align uh, scatter and align that's a great node uh, what we can do with this we can uh, this is the surface so the surface would be the grid and this is the point cloud so we're going to bring the point cloud if we press here we're going to have points all over the place that's not what we want we want to scatter points around constraint points the constraint points are the points that we generated already so this is the point okay so now we can have like this radio scale and let's have it up to 10 meters away from that and i want to have like this around six and around 1.5 oh, 1.5 this is the minimal size and the maximum size i want to rotate them uh, randomly 180 degrees rotation around normal i think can be 0 and 360 uh, point generation let's do let's work with some noise here and let's bring the amplitude much bigger than this so yeah we are adding more noise to the to the whole thing uh, so now i think we have too many points so i want to change the coverage to something yeah like something like that we're going to we can change this later uh, so i think it's it's okay so the other thing that we want to do we want to project this point let, let me show you what i what i mean sometimes it's easier to just to visualize so copy two points we have this and the the second input is the points and here's the geometry let's put down a sphere okay so uh, later we're going to bring some rocks and we're going to use this for to scatter the rocks but for now this is what we get okay so let me uh, let let's bring back this one and let's merge this one with this one okay so we have this let me clear this okay so now we have we can see the rocks and you see if we go under the water the, the rocks are just floating there that's the the issue that we have we have some rocks floating and we don't want that also what we don't want is the size of the the, the whole thing i want to give it more like a, a bigger to make the rocks bigger this is a multiply for the, the for the general scale and maybe we can bring more yeah i think i like in this but you see 
the rocks are all floating because the, the intersection were, were running around this area and we distorted with the noise and, and so they went further away from the island but they still they are just floating okay so now what we can do we can have like a ray up the ray is a very nice node that projects points onto another surface so here is the point so we want these points to project and here is the the surface the collision primitive so this the collision primitive i'm going to choose this one we can see the point being projected into the island see the difference let me let me see this is the geometry okay let's see with the here much better sorry okay so now we see the points are, are further there just projecting everything into the the island so we have some rocks under the water that's going to be visible uh, from the the transparency translucency the transparency of the water and other ones are just further there but we have some some that are projecting upwards because it's just clover for example a, a point that was here it's just closer to project there and we don't want that but i think we have the minimum distance yeah if we place minimum distance we already fixed those one on the top then the other one is that I want to they are just like in the center of each sphere they are just placing them in the center so I want to bur bury them a bit on the ground so it's uh, very easy we can just place a transform node after the, the, the ray and in this transform we can just make like translate minus 0.5 it's just a bit maybe even more maybe minus 0.8 so now they're buried into the land and we have this cool setup where we have all these uh, rocks scattered around the island and of course when we place different rocks we can play with the the values to make sense of uh, for uh, uh, in the our artistic vision of this and the other thing is that you see there is rocks uh, in some places that I didn't want rocks to to be like for example this is cool in this area but I think like for example this beach is okay I will have a few there nothing too fancy but if you want you can always come back and delete a few of those that you don't want I think it's they look good in general uh, and we can always play with that later when we place the real rocks so okay one more thing one more step and now that we have the rocks we can bring the real world rocks in the second in the next lesson and um, and after that we we're going to start scattering some plants okay see you there